Welcome to this week's TU TV, and we are here in the museum. We're really excited to talk to some of our museum study students and the work that they are doing and continue to do and will do as Tusculum University advances. But first, start off by telling everyone who you are, where you're from. My name is Joshua Renner. Um, I'm from Greenville here, born and raised. Um, I love museums. I love the stories they can tell, and that's why I'm doing this. Awesome. I'm Lily Wallace. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. I kind of grew up as a history buff and I think one of the best ways to kind of get a good perspective on history and the true stories behind it outside of, you know, family history and stuff is to just go to a museum and read and I just really like to do that. I think it's a good way to learn. Good. My name is Jonathan Nicholson. I'm from Greenville and um, I've always known about this area and like the school and stuff and when I found out they had a museum studies program that seemed like the natural next step out of high school and to go into because you know, I'm not really good at math or anything like that, so <laughs> decided to do this, so I really enjoy it. Oh, we're really blessed. Uh, most institutions hope that they, especially institutions of our size, they hope that they can only have one museum, right? We're blessed that we have multiple museums on campus, but also we're in proximity to just incredible, like you said, historical uh, significant places and so we're really fortunate. Uh, we do have uh, Dr. Peter Knoll uh, with us. Peter, come slide in here with us. So tell the audience about your world um, and, and Same what as the, your world. And then what, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> but tell us a little bit more, add on to what we uh, we just talked about. So th this is the, the old college building and it has been uh, everything in the school's history from the first classroom space and library to, to and if you have talked to alums who come back here, they remember this as faculty housing where they came and babysat for Professor so-and-so. Um, so I mean this, this building has served as everything and today it is the home to museum collections, the archive of the university, uh, the presidential library, exhibits on, on Andrew Johnson, exhibits on, on the university history. Yep. And you were, you were speaking about where, where we are. And I was going to just share, uh, I believe this would be Samuel Witherspoon, Duke Dokes were talking about this, this place. And, and so this is, this is the college catalog. And I'm not seeing I'm doing it, but this is a bad form. You're supposed to have like white gloves when you handle this. Clean thing. hands. Clean, clean hands. Because white gloves, yeah, I catch. More, more likely catch. Okay, so you're teaching. See, you're teaching. <laughs> Every day is a learning experience for this guy. But this is the college catalog in 1846. Uh, Tusculum right. College, and so your Tusculum College, then, right? Right. Is a, is a large, commodious, beautiful building located four miles east of Greenville, Tennessee, on an eminence in a delightful grove overlooking extensive farms on the northwest, the west, the south, and the east, with an extended forest on the north. A bold fountain of pure and most salubrious water bursts and a pearly stream rolls its sweet waters at the foot. The extensive view of the mountains in the south, 15 miles distance, fills the mind with ideas at once delightful, grand, and sublime, and fits it for energetic and noble efforts. It is located in a neighborhood distinguished by the morality, religion, and industry of its inhabitants, and by the salubrity of its waters and the atmosphere everywhere pure and healthful and by its abundance of all the necess uh, necessaries and many of the luxuries of life and their cheapness. We're thankful for our founding fathers and we're going to learn a little bit about the history. So who wants to go first and tell us a little bit about your project? You're first You're up on yeah. the timeline. You're first on the timeline, right? Yeah. So, so we're starting what, 1804 with your timeline roughly? Or? Right. And they uh, opened the school, Greenville College at this time. Uh, the school does pretty well the first 20, 30 years, uh, but the students were rambunctious. There's this uh, story that they didn't like the food. The food was horrible. <laughs> they were talking about their Some things never change. <laughs> well, you know, they, uh, they talk about the uh, the steward, yeah, uh, Mr. Wilson. So they decide to hang an effigy of him in a tree at the campus. It's kind of like a, a protest at that time. And, right. And uh, so seven or so students go in front of the board and. They're forgiven, they have to do this and that, except the two ringleaders, I think, are expelled. Yeah. Uh, who's next on the time? Uh, I guess <laughs> mine would have been next. Um, my period on my timeline began in 1915. We're looking at the college during the war years of both world wars. Um, so in 1915, uh, the college has this thing called the Student Army Training Corps. And ultimately, during the First World War, just over 60-some students from campus, uh, students and faculty, actually went and served. Um, and I believe five or so didn't make it back. Yeah, these are some pictures of them here. And so then during the Second World War, 
Um, the campus's male population is again kind of hurt by military drafts and by voluntary service. So during that period, you see women start to take a larger role in the, in the college. And but Tuscan was the leader in that, right? I mean, we, we knew we enrolled the first African American, we also enrolled the first female. Mm -hmm. Um, in this area, in this greater region, so it, it's natural that you know this this occurrence would, would take place. Cool. And it's now nice. to today-ish, uh, a little -ish. more more modern. So my yeah. um, time period was 1946 to 1975. Um, there was a lot of unrest on campus during that 30-year period. So World War II ends in 1945, and I believe in the year 1948, 70% of the students that came to campus um, were veterans right. of World War II. Shifting a, look, a few years later, so 1954, Brown versus Board of Education is right. passed, um, and it wasn't until 1956, actually, that Tuscaloon decided to let African Americans attend school here. We were a private institution and Brown versus Board only really applied to public institutions. Right. So the board passed it in 1956 and then in 1957, um, the first African American to enroll on campus and graduate, her name was right. Ava White. Yep. Um, we just kind of learned She was the first to graduate. To graduate, right. yes. Yeah. But John um, was the first to First enroll. to enroll, yeah. yeah. Yep. She was the first to enroll after we passed in 1956. Exactly. Yep. Um, and then, so moving into more unrest, and later um, in 1969, uh, some of the students actually went on strike almost and held McCormick Hall uh, for three days, I believe, um, because of issues with accreditation, I right. think was what was going on. They eventually worked through their issues peacefully uh, with the administration, but it just goes to show you that like there were students during that time that understood that, you know, we have a voice, we have power on right. campus. And then the kind of the end of my time period is 1972, uh, Title IX is passed, yeah. okay. which um, was a big, you know, door opening for women in sports on campus here. Um, and we added a lot of female teams. Right. And so it was a lot, it was a 30 year period of a lot of unrest, but a lot of growth for a lot of innovation, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We want to thank you. We also want to invite you to, to visit Tuscan, to visit our museums and to see the mm -hmm. work that these students uh, work on every day and, and have worked on and will continue to work on. But we feel like we have a treasure of, of, of historical, not only significance to our university, but how this institution impacts this region. So we invite you to come and visit uh, the Tuscan Museums, and thank you for joining this week's version of TUTV.